What's up guys, my name is Jack, Easy Mode Exams. I have a first class degree in biochemistry and my goal is to make your exams and studying as easy as possible. So this lesson is gonna be focused on relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass under the amount of substance topic for AQA A-level chemistry. So what do you need to know? Remember guys, exams are a game, you need to know the rules of the game and those rules are found in the specification. Okay, link in the description down below. Everything you see on the screen right here is from the AQA specification. And make sure you watch to the end of the video. We're gonna go through some very simple questions. If you're new to this topic, it's gonna to help you out. If you're advanced, feel free to skip, but we'll also be doing some quick active recall when it comes on to the definitions you need to know. So let's go through this. First bullet point here, we have relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass in terms of carbon-12. What does this mean? We're gonna look at that. The term relative formula mass will be used for ionic compounds, and you should be able to, to define relative atomic mass given the symbol AR and relative molecular mass given the symbol MR. Okay, so these are the two definitions we need to know. Relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. Now the first thing I'm gonna point out here is everything is compared to carbon-12. Why is that? We assume that carbon-12 has a mass of exactly 12, right? And this is because it contains six protons and six neutrons, giving us a total mass number of 12 or total mass units, all right? Therefore, each one single mass unit is assumed to be one twelfth the mass of carbon-12 because carbon-12 has a mass of 12. All right, and this gives us relative mass units and it allows us to simplify them to be one each, right? Easy stuff. Proton has a mass of one, neutrons has a mass of one. So we compare everything to this carbon-12, right? I've already went through this in a lot of detail in my relative atomic mass video under the atomic structure topic, whereas that is more surrounding mass spectrometry. This one, slightly different theme, where it highlights mainly relative molecular mass and the way that in amount of substance, you're going to be using this variable an absolute ton, guys, okay? So get your head wrapped around it and why you need to use it and what it is. So two definitions you need to know right here on the screen, all right? First one, relative atomic mass, the average mass of an atom of an element compared to one twelfth mass of an atom of carbon-12. So I've explained why they compare it to carbon-12, assuming one twelfth the mass equals one relative mass unit, okay? Now, relative molecular mass, exactly the same thing, but it's for a molecule rather than an atom of an element. So those are the two definitions you need to know. Do your best to memorize them because they can come up for one, two mark questions. Not too hard though, hopefully you get that concept. So let's look at relative formula masses. So we've looked at atomic mass, molecular mass. The term is used for ionic compounds because they don't exist as molecules. So let's look at some examples, right? Let's say you have NaCl, okay? Or another example, let's think of calcium fluoride or any, any sort of ionic compound, right? Ionic compound, that's the key word here. Now, this is kind of, this annoyed me when I did my A-levels because they don't like you to use the term molecule or molecular when it comes on to things that are ionic. What they want you to understand in A-level is that if anything is referred to as a molecule or molecular, it is covalent, okay? If you're not too sure what this is, don't worry. That will come on to in the bonding topic. But for now, just understand that if something is ionic, they don't like you to refer to it as molecule, so they switch out for formula. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You don't really need to know this, okay? All you need to remember is that they don't like you using the word molecule when it comes on to things that are ionic. However, this is real easy because what is the symbol for relative formula mass? MR. Okay, exactly the same as relative molecular mass. So this makes things super simple for us. You don't need to be able to differentiate them within questions. If they ask you for the molecular mass or the relative formula mass, just know that it's always MR. And we'll look at that in a bit more detail when it comes on to our mole calculation video. Um, but for now, just understand that concept and you're completely fine. 
All right, test yourself questions, guys. Just a few practice problems, get the juices flowing, okay? So this is essentially real basic stuff. You should have been able to do this at GCSE, but if not, all good, we're here to save the day. So calculate the MR of the following. What is MR? Relative molecular mass or relative formula mass? So for example, this one's ionic, right? So it would be formula mass. So what you wanna do here is pause the video and attempt these yourself. Hopefully you should know what to do from GCSE days. If not, carry on watching, but I would highly advise you just to attempt it, okay? The periodic table is right here. See if you can do it. All right, so I'm gonna write the answers here and essentially it should be a walk in the park. So what you wanna do is you just wanna find the mass number of each respective atom or ion that is in the, the compound, right? So sodium is over here, group one. So that's 23 plus chlorine is 35.5. Uh, okay, so you add those guys together and that's gonna give you 58.5. Okay, MR, they haven't asked for the units here, right? I'm gonna go over the units. It is grams per mole. Okay, don't worry about the units for now. We'll come on to that in far more detail when we go on to moles and mole calculations. But that's the units, so you know, a bit of cheeky bonus there. Next one, MgBr2. Okay, so what we want to do here is we want to take notes of these subscripts. Okay, that essentially tells you that there's two bromine ions, or bromide ions, I should say, within this compound. Okay, same for this guy right here. This has four, etc. Hopefully you're aware of that from GCSE again. So let's find magnesium group two, 24.3, plus bromine, right? Bromide, remember the ion name is bromide. This is 79.9, but there's two of those guys. So you're gonna have to add that together. Bash that in your calculator, guys, and you'll get an answer of 184.1. Cool. Now, this one here, 40.1 plus two lots of fluorine or fluoride, 19. So two lots of that guy equals 78.1, done. All right, next one, question four, sodium sulfate. So we've got two of these guys. So that's two lots of 23 plus sulfur, group six, 32.1, plus four lots of oxygen, again, group six. So it's gonna be four lots of 16 equals 142.1. All right, not too bad. Next one, magnesium, good old group two again, 24.3. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the nitrate, NO3 in brackets, um, behind the two, right? So there's two here. So what I do is 14 plus three lots of 16, do that in brackets, all right? Easy peasy, three lots of 16 is 48, plus four is 52, 62. So 24.3 plus two lots of 62 equals, so that gives you 148. What happened to that eight? 148.3, okay? Five easy questions, but hopefully you guys got all that right. What is the units? Again, it's grams per mole. We'll come on to that in another video. Do not stress about that now. All right, guys, time for some active recall, as in all the videos. And here, honestly, it's just two definitions you need to know. Everything else is calculation or math based and you don't really wanna use active recall or flashcards for that. You just want to be doing past paper questions. And the ones I went through today were very simple, but they build the foundation. So can you define these things, guys? Relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass. Try and remember to the first part of the video and you should be completely fine. All right, so the first one here is the average mass of an atom of an element compared to 1 12th the mass of an atom of carbon 12. And then molecular mass is the average mass of a molecule compared to 1 12th the mass of an atom of carbon 12. So all you have to remember here is that you switch out atom of an element with molecule between these two things. And then as long as you remember 1 12th the mass of an atom of carbon 12, which went through right at the start, everything is compared to carbon 12, guys. So if you remember that, you should be all good to go. All right, last point here, guys, spec check. So going through the specification, making sure we ticked off everything you need to know. First off, relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass in terms of carbon-12, easy stuff. The terms relative formula mass will be used for ionic compounds. We went through that as well. And then you should be able to define relative atomic mass given the symbol capital A, lowercase r, and relative molecular mass given the symbol capital M, lowercase r. All right, did both of those. 
Now, what you'll notice here is with relative atomic mass, here in the amount of substance topic is given the symbol AR, right? But in the um, atomic structure topic, it's also given the symbol, but it's mainly given the symbol capital RAM okay when it comes onto the mass spec side of things so just realize that they're exactly the same thing um, but again different symbols just to confuse you a bit more but there we go i hope you found this video helpful guys if you did give it a like it really helps the youtube algorithm work its magic if you're not too sure where to take your revision next guys i highly recommend checking out my what topics to focus on videos for papers one two and three it's gonna help you realize which topics come up the most and where to focus your revision. Best of luck with your studying and exams, guys. Until next time, peace.